The Broadway musical version of The Bridges of Madison County is now at the Orpheum Theater in Minneapolis. The story is about an Iowa housewife's brief love affair with a traveling photographer. The popular book from Robert James Waller came out more than 20 years ago and stayed on the New York Times bestseller list for three years. There was also a movie starring Meryl Streep and Clint Eastwood. And with us today is Andrew Samonski, who plays the traveling photographer Robert Kincaid. Thank you for joining us. Happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Welcome. So I had a couple of friends who went to this last night. They absolutely loved it. And they said you had amazing chemistry with Francesca during the play. So oh, how is this different than maybe the book or the movie? Well, I mean, the obvious first thing is it's a musical, you know, and we're, we're singing, you know, and I don't, I don't think Clint Eastwood sang in the movie. I don't but, think uh, so. <laughs> um, but no, Jason Robert Brown, our composer, has written this incredible score. It, it won the Tony for best score, best orchestrations. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it really, it's like the sixth character um, that just is infused throughout the story. I mean, it's this sweeping romance, um, and the music, of course, brings it to life, you it's know, beautiful. in a way, yeah. And it's been almost, I believe, 25 years since this book uh, came out. What do, you, what do you think it is about this story that is so enduring? Yeah, you know, I mean, I think, I think everybody has that desire to find that one person. I mean, mm -hmm. I think we're all looking for connection, you know, and to see these two people find it uh, maybe for the first time in their life when something was missing. Um, I mean, I think everybody is looking for that. And it's told in a very real, human, complicated, messy way that I think love often is. And in know. this musical, uh, we get to see Francesca's husband a little bit more so than we did maybe in the movie or the book. Right. And you get to know him. How does that kind of add to the plot? Yeah, it's really more told from Francesca's point of view. And so you meet, you meet her family more. You meet the neighbors more who are part of her community her world and you see how this this huge moment in her life is affecting the world around her too so which is different from the movie and the book I mean you're gonna get the same story but you know there's a little bit more to now, it. I take it you, you have seen the movie <laughs> yeah yes and yeah. as an actor is that does that make it more challenging when you're trying to bring this character into your own uh, or do you pull a little bit from Clint Eastwood <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know I, I mean I watched the movie once and okay. then I kind of put it away <laughs> you enough. know you know I'm not playing Clint Eastwood up there <laughs> nothing against Clint Eastwood he's, he's great right. but uh, you know, it's it's our own story. We're uh -huh. making it our own. So, but uh, props to Clint Eastwood and the book for informing us, you know, more about how to tell the story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, Andrew, thank you for coming in and enjoy your your short visit to Minnesota. Oh no, so it's great. So it's it's the cross between decision and desire. The Bridges of Madison County will be at the Orpheum only for a short time. There are evening shows tonight through Sunday, and there are also matinees on Saturday and Sunday. Tickets are thirty nine dollars. We have more information on WCCO.com. My friend said it was very good. Oh, so good. enjoy yeah, your come visit. Come on out. Yeah. And it sounds like tonight might be an okay night to sit inside and to watch a beautiful love story. We've yeah. got some some wet weather coming for you. We do have a chance for